And this is a, a video made by my colleague Martin Glenny in the laboratory of how you can get the T cells to recognize the cancer cells. So these are the cancer cells, the chaps with the white arrows on them, growing in a culture. And right up at the top left here is, is a chap in pink, which is one of these killer T cells. And what we've done is we've primed it to recognize the cancer cells. And you can see that it's off like a flash. It's onto the first cancer cell here, and it's eaten it in a matter of seconds. And it's now sitting there, having recognized it as alien, having recognized it as a threat to the existence, uh, and, it, and it's eaten it and it's digested it, and it's now having a little wander around. And then it's, then it's gradually working out that there's somebody down here that shouldn't be there, another cancer cell, and it's moving in. Here it is. It's dragging it off to the bottom of the screen like a nightclub bouncer at the door of a club. It's just taking it outside there. And just, just, that's the end of that one. Back up to this one here, this nice big juicy cancer cell in the middle, and again, grabs it, Gives, delivers the, the killer blow. So the exciting thing about these killer T cells is, as you can see, they're fantastically energetic and they can go from cancer cell to cancer cell if you get the signal right and if you prime them appropriately to recognize the cancer. And this is the thing which they do in life when the cancers are at a very early stage when things are working well.